have not tried this before, but I'm going to try to find out if the iPhone can actually shoot outside today. I have with me a huge box from ValkeraHelicopterSupply.com and I also brought an X-Acto knife. So we're going to try to open this and you guys will find out what's in here as fast as I'm finding out. Alright, I think we're into the box. Recap the knife for safety. I can stick it right in the ground. Hey, wait a minute. Two pieces of beef jerky? I suppose somebody knows how long this is going to be because I didn't think I was going to need beef jerky for this. Next. Next in the box, and here, if this can show, this is the QR350 from Valkyra in China, of course. I got this one from, Val from Valkyra Helicopter Supply up around Seattle somewhere. And what's interesting about it, of course, is this is a maybe the first real Phantom clone. So let's check it out. It comes sealed. So we're gonna need a knife again. Right here, right here. Capping the knife, putting it back down. I'm actually annoyed it's so hard to get out of the box. Gee. Okay, inside the box comes out like this. And I see stuff falling here. Here's some at attachments. Here is the user manual for the radio. I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open. You already seen the box. And that was the other side of the box. So I'm gonna put the box over here. And this is pretty much the usual packaging from Valkyra. Let's get that off the top. Let me get this up so you can see. So this one came with an F7 radio. Over here is the aircraft itself. It comes with a charger and it comes with a 2200 milliamp battery. It even comes with a neck strap, which is kind of nice. And with the legs, unlike the Phantom legs, this one spreads out 45 degrees, so you're gonna get a lot of stability when you land with a gimbal and a camera. Let's try to pop it out. Opening this out in nature is not as great of an idea as I thought it was going to be, so bear with me. Okay. Here. Unlike the Phantom, this one comes with two control lights on the back. This one here, the left one, shows you the motor lock, and the right one shows you the GPS lock and how many GPS's. It has a tail mounted battery space. I like that much better than the front mounted because whatever I mount in the front such as an FPV camera is not gonna accidentally spring open. I was flying a Phantom with a flight camera right here, got some air and it sprung open and next thing I knew I was flying looking down at the ground. Not a good plan. So up here is four screw holes. Ooh, I like this. Here is the screws for the legs. Notice they are finger screws. You don't need tools for this. So if you're backpacking, this is as big as it is because you can take everything apart with your fingers in a matter of minutes. Which means it's much easier to backpack with because you don't have to deal with those little screws. And up here, the other great feature about this one, notice there is two 
antennas on the back, not just one. What does that mean? That means when you have a camera hanging here and you turn around, you're not risking to hide one of the antennas. So I'm going to tuck this, and it also has more power ports right here, so that you can get power out to power, for instance, a gimbal. I'm going to tuck this one down here. Take a... Almost dropped that one. Wouldn't that be something? I just said how easy it is to travel with. I still mean that because this is easy to put together and it's, it feels a little bit smaller physically than the Phantom and it also looks like the legs actually are the same or maybe even a little taller. I, will, I won't know for sure till I get home and actually measure this, but there. The second leg is in place. And my iPhone is telling me we are six minutes into cracking this open. I have not charged the battery, so I don't think we're going to fly anything. But, ah, there. Second one is in place. Up on top here, it shows what way the propellers are going. You see that right there? So this should be very easy. Let's just keep charging ahead. This one is right turning, so it's going to go this way here. Here's another thing I like. Notice on the motors, just like DJI, they have flat sides. That means the propeller cannot spin. It's hugely important because you don't have to worry about the propeller unscrewing itself. So here comes the next one. This is a this goes over this way because in this plastic bag was right turning. Now we're gonna find the next plastic bag will have hopefully left turning. This one doesn't take tools, but it has a little hole here, so you can put a pin in and twist it. Which again, I like because all kinds of pins can be used, not just the correct size pin. Next two. Here you go. Right there. Let's look at it. This is in fact left turning or counterclockwise. I like they slip on really easy. Of course, anybody that knows me, you should never go flying with a propeller till you have balanced them because unbalanced propellers just flies like crap. There you go. Let's see what we got. We got four propellers. The timer on the iPhone says we're eight minutes into this video. We've got propellers on it. We're ready to stick a battery in. We're still needing, see this cable here? I did not plug it in right. That needs to go down here. There we go. The compass is plugged in. We need to use a piece of tape on each of these legs or just let these antennas hang free. That will be just as good. Okay, the front is a little bit loose little bit looser than what we have come to expect from a Phantom. The markings on these are kind of interesting. Notice below, this looks a lot like a Phantom arm. It really does. It has the same screws, it even has the same little screw and big screws. So I think somebody's been looking long and hard at these things. What I do like is, see how wide these legs are? If you're gonna land hard with this thing, it's very hard to roll it over. So if you're flying cameras, this set of legs here is gonna be great. Also, and here, this is where it gets a little confusing because this comes in four different ways. And what I have in my hand right here matches essentially a Phantom. This is the Valkyra QRX350. But this is where it gets amazing. This thing, without a radio, so if you're already a Valkyr pilot, you can use a seven channels or more Valkyr radio to fly this thing. And at that, you're looking at about $380. Now, if you want the entry level, I don't want to call it the bottom one, the entry seven channel radio from Valkyra, then you get the Devo 7 with this thing 
and you're looking at about $450. So this is really an aircraft that matches a $700 Phantom for about $450. Now the mystery of course, the plot thickens because down here is the deluxe radio. The deluxe radio, according to the matrix I've seen, comes with the FPV kit. What's so cool about this sucker, it has a screen in it. So you can go fly, you can set up your shot, use the screen, but at the same time you can look and keep an eye on the aircraft while you shoot, for instance, real estate video. And I'm hoping, I haven't tried it yet, I'm hoping I can use this rotator right here to set my camera angle. So this is really, there's a bit more functions in this radio than what you get when you pick up the standard Phantom for the exact same amount of money. But the FPV kit is also supposed to come with a camera mount and they have a $10 camera mount that is really awesome because it has soft suspensions underneath so that it's going to hang in here and you can see the mount right here. It's going to hang right here and it's going to be able to give a little bit so it gets rid of jello while you fly. That's really important for video and they have a really nice camera mount for the GoPro. And that camera mount is not in here even though I thought it was going to be. I also thought when I saw this radio that there was going to be the DV04 digital camera that is, was, is set up to fit into that camera mount so that when you mount it here there's an FPV camera and the GoPro underneath and so the way I understand it that's a seven or six hundred and seventy nine dollar package whereas the base radio with the aircraft and the base radio essentially what you get for a Phantom is four hundred and fifty dollars now I'm sitting here these legs feels a bit more flexible but I think mostly it's because remember how the Phantom works they come out and they connect down here so they kind of support each other what I really like is those big balls on the end because that means when it hits the ground it's not gonna catch it's hopefully gonna slide a bit so anyway here it is I've got the part got a battery and charger and I'm ready to fly except for one thing, now I need to go charge this. So if you want to see how this flies and see it lift, I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is mount a brushless from Team Rebel Designs. I'm going to mount that right underneath here. That's the first thing I'm going to do when I test fly this thing. So I'm going to fly this with a brushless gimbal and that would then cost me 450 plus 175. So 575. 650 for a full flying device with a brushless gimbal. We don't know how it flies yet, but hey, the price is right. And if you want to see how this flies, stay tuned. I should have it up in the air within a day or two. Stay tuned to my website at fpvguy.com. Thank you very much.